Okay, so I got two different ways for wiring up solenoids that I've used in the past. Uh, I think it's your two most common ones anyway. All right, so uh, the one I see a lot of people use, or used to see a lot of people use, is uh, you have your valves either, they'll either be mounted to your tank or you'll mount them remotely. The ground wire will go directly back to, in this case, it's going to uh, frame ground. It's hooked to my power supply, but this would be like your body of the car. And then your power is going to the power side of your switches and out of that wire back to the red off of uh, one of the switches here, which just happens to be this one. I don't know if you can hear the click. That's one way. Uh, personally, I always liked mounting the ground to the body of the the valve. The valve is threaded into the tank. Uh, it, actually, it would work if you had these remote mounted remotely. You could still mount to the body as long as the ground was physically going to the body of the valve off of the the frame or the chassis or uh, or your body or your car. But in this situation, the tank, this would be like the tanks mounted to the body or to the frame. The ground's gonna travel through back into the solenoid. And then same situation, power's going into the red wire on this switch box. It's coming back out of this wire. I didn't pay attention to what color that was into the power side of the coil. So on this one, we're still working. So either one gives you a usable option. It's uh, it's really all just personal preference, whichever one suits your build or your uh, scenario the best. This is just old uh, junk tank that was laying out in the yard. So don't, uh, don't pay no mind to the a little bit of rust. I just wanted to use it for the video as a representation. We'll try and get some more videos out in the next little bit.